I've been in the business since 1982. Uh, Microid, uh, his name is RTR2, which stands for Bobby the Robot 2, because I was always a big fan of the classic side by the And uh, he's all fiberglass, uh, the legs of fiberglass, the feet, the body. Uh, from the company that we used bought before that does specialty custom plastic works and they blew the clear dome for me. Amazing, it only cost me $85 to have that custom made clear dome. And then I did all the rest of the custom parts for myself, the, the ring shaped antennas, the ear blisters, the mechanical things under the dome and all that. But uh, he, he's pretty rudimentary as well. He has a very simple fiberglass frame, a body I mean, and this uh, Half-inch thick plexiglass frame on the inside, and uh, he's very simple. I mean, I only spent probably maybe two and a half thousand dollars for all the parts. Now, mind you, that's not including all my time and <laughs> effort, you know, but that's pretty cheap. I mean, he's controlled by one sensitive controller. I found a company online that makes robot controllers for like battle water events, and they make one they call the Robot Power, and it was just based. Plug the two motors in, plug the battery in, plug the receiver in. That was it. Right. So. Uh, hi, I'm Corey Passioni. I'm from, I made the trip down from Eastern Canada, so uh, I finally got here late last night. Uh, this is my droid, R2A5. Uh, 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 I'm not sure if you'll remember, but he was actually in the original Star Wars movie before uh, the special editions came out. Uh, he later got replaced by a digital Ronto. Uh, but he was in the original uh, Tatooine uh, scene uh, by Luke and uh, Obi-Wan and the Yeah. Um, this is what I built specifically for this convention. Um, I, I've been a member of the R2 Builders group since, uh, since it was born, uh, so going on probably uh, 11 or 12 years now. Uh, my, uh, I built this uh, droid as cheaply as I could. Uh, and basically as basic as you can make a droid. I wanted them to be remote control, uh, just so I could uh, you know, drive around and, and watch people's faces light up. Uh, I, I have another droid at home, uh, and another one on, like, that I'm gonna start. The one I have at home uh, is 100% aluminum. Uh, pretty much all the bells and whistles. Uh, it's one of the probably handful of droids uh, in the world that actually does the, what's called the 232. Uh, goes from two legs to three legs and then back to two. You've seen the uh, in the New Hope and some of the other movies. R2 go like we'll just, let's talk all back up here. Before the CG world came out, you know, you saw maybe one or two of the movies uh, go from three uh, two legs to three legs and drive around. You never actually saw it go back to two legs because it didn't exist. So the R2 builders group have uh, expanded on the ideas that were originally given to us in movies and. We've actually created it for real. Uh, the 232 is definitely probably the holy grail of R2 building. It's, it's not easy, it's not uh, reliable. Uh, there's probably only five or six uh, droids that I know of that have successfully uh, pulled it off. So, uh, all that being said, uh, when I first started building my droid over 10 years ago, uh, I started with fun foam, a pair of scissors, and a barbecue. <laughs> that's, that's it, that's where I started with. And uh, the builders group has grown uh, in, in both members and uh, information. Anyone in this room, anyone in this room can have a droid that looks as good or better than these. Uh, all you have to do is basically join the club. You're going to benefit from years of experience, uh, blueprints that we have drawn up that are 100% accurate. It's uh, I, I hate to say any idiot can build a droid, but really, any idiot can build a droid. <laughs> yeah, you do have to have patience. Uh, that's one thing that I think every R2 builder will, will uh, tell you is that uh, just as Yoda prayed, pray patience. Uh, you're going to learn that in this project. 